hello everyone i am precious and so in this video we want to look at this beautiful problem it says write down the values of these numbers the values of these numbers so what are they asking us so you could see that uh, this is actually an application of logarithm you recall that in our previous video on logarithms with tables i said that the logarithm of a number that's common logarithm the log of a number to base 10 for example 10 is equal to the power you will raise if you if you express 10 in base 10 what is going to be the power so in this case the power is one so it means that this logarithm is equal to one so in other words if you are asking me to find the value of 10 raised to the power of one it means you are asking me to get back this number that you took the logarithm to get one so and how do you get back the number whose logarithm you took you just take the anti-log of the value you got after you took the logarithm of that number so since i uh, if you take the log of 10 you will get one so if you want to get back 10 all you need to do is to take the anti-log of uh, one so in other words if i want to find the value of 10 raised to power one all i need to do is to get the anti-log of one and i'll get back my 10. So in other words, in these cases here, if, if we want to find the values of 10 raised to the power of all of this, just get the anti-log of this, you will get the value. Get the anti-log of this, you'll get the value. And the reason why we are using this approach is that they can actually ask you in an exam to find these values without calculator. So how do you do it? That's where anti-logarithm comes into play. Okay, so this now means that we should find the anti-log of the power you have there which is 0 0.6382 okay so can we do this now what is the anti-log of this you remember we use the mantis that's the the decimal part to get the number and then we use the characteristics to get the position of the decimal point okay so in other words for here we are looking for 0.63 under eight difference two so let's go to our anti-log table under 8 difference 2.63 under 8 okay remember this is column 0 and this is column 9 so this will be 8 so this is 0.63 under 8 then difference 2 is the second column here so if we add that to this we are going to have 4345 okay plus 2 which is going to give us 47 all right Okay, so that's the number we have 4347. Okay, so that means the anti log here is 4347. And then we now make use of the mantissa, sorry, the characteristics to get our position of decimal point. So just add one to this, and zero plus one is one. So just count the first digit and then put your decimal point. So it means that 10 raised to the power of this number. Is going to give us 4.34 and 7 and you can use a calculator to confirm that it is the same and so what about example b we have 10 raised to the power of uh, 2.9517 what is it going to be it means i'm looking for the anti-log of uh, 2.9517 um, okay and what is this that that means i uh, remember we are only going to now check for 95 on that one difference seven okay so to now find 95 on that one difference seven we will come here okay let me check here yeah this is 95 here on that one on that one this is the first call let's call him after the zero and then difference seven you go on the same row this is different seven here and different seven is 15 so we are adding 15 to this that should give us eight nine if you add 15 to 33 you should get four eight eight nine four eight okay so bring that back here so we have eight nine four eight okay as the value of our anti-log but then we need to put the decimal point and you have two as a characteristic so we add one to it so we have three one two three so <clears throat> our answer is 894.8 
and that is our solution. So I'm going to allow you to do the example C. Of course, you could see that the example C is having the same mantissa as our example one. So it means that you're also going to get this same number, but the only difference will now be a decimal point. Five. we can actually do that. So for C, your answer is going to be, since the uh, characteristics is three, just add one to it and that will give you four. So you have four, three, four, seven. And if you count it, that's four digits. So the decimal point is in front and you can just ignore that. So that's the value of this. And like I said earlier, it will be nice you use your calculators. Just press these numbers and confirm that they are all equal to what we have gotten here. All right. So this is all I have for you for this video. Please kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. It helps our algorithm and the growth of this family. And please recommend us to your friends and your colleagues. We'll see you in our next video. Bye.